Hey Rebecca, this is Matt at Perkins Motorplex here in Mayfield, Kentucky. Uh, like I said, all of our inventory that is showing Franklin is back here at our Mayfield store. You can see our cleanup facility and some of our other inventory we've got. Um, the main purpose of this vehicle, you can see I pulled this 19 Tahoe Premier out of the line here so we can get a good look at it. Um, and the purpose of this video is for me to point out any blemishes, highlight some options on it, and uh, make sure that you know the exact condition of this vehicle before it's delivered to you or to your area. Obviously, it is a used vehicle. Even though it's as nice as it is, it's not going to be perfect. So I'm going to point out uh, every little thing that I can be, I can look at. Uh, I am your eyes, I'm your nose, I'm your ears here on the ground with the truck. So starting here on the front, don't see any hail damage or any indentions, anything like that. There are a couple of water beads. So if there's any small surface scratches, I may miss it. But white does a really good job of hiding any of those small surface scratches that uh, some other colors might show. Of course, on the front, there's probably some small rock chips. You can see tiny, and, and that's smaller than my fingernail. But I'm not seeing any cracks in the headlights, any scratches along the chrome. The only thing I saw, again, if I'm being super picky, is the spot right there on the top of that plastic guard. But the bottom of it doesn't look like it's been curbed up or anything like that. Do have high dollar Michelin Defender tires on this. Wheels look great on this too. No curb rash on either of the wheels on this side. And the fender, front quarter panel, and uh, the door panels here look to be in great shape as well. No indentions, not seeing any surface scratches. Again, white does a great job of covering that. The only spot I saw was back here on the back bumper. Looks like a small touch up spot where a shopping cart or something like that nicked it once upon a time. Of course, not seeing any, we've got the heat rolling. That's why it's, see the exhaust coming out like that, but I'm not seeing any major scratches here along the back. That's just a little spot there. It looks like right around the hitch receiver cover and then the back of the lift gate looks to be in good shape of course this plastic is gonna have some scratches on just from loading things in and out the top of this plastic not seeing much it looks just a little dirty there's no major scratches in that and of course i'm sure you know as well you got the power third and second row here the third row of course comes up and down with that and you can see the back seat that uh pops up with the uh, controls back here but everything looks to be in good shape good look at the headliner all the way through looks to be in remarkable shape here come around to the passenger side of the car yeah i'm just checking this corner there may be a small spot that may just be a little dirt that's not rubbing off and then the wheels here on this side as well i'm not seeing any curb rash and again the michelin tires are a lot of life left on those. We'll have to worry about new tires anytime soon. It's the same tires I've actually got on my 4Runner that I drive every day. Coming in here to the uh, passenger side back seat. Seats are in great shape for the mileage. Of course, you can see a couple small spots there on the seat, but nothing major. No rips or major tears. No armrest missing here in the middle. Both of those are here. And you do have the all-weather floor mats all the way through even into the third row and this one and then of course the heated seats in the front and the back to any suv if there's any kids you can see the back of these seats are sometimes scuffed up this one looks to be in great shape i don't see any scuffs come up to the driver or passenger side door here no wear tear here I'm not seeing any tears there on the passenger seat or on that middle console on this side. And it does have the power passenger seat. Of course, your all-weather floor mats up front, they look to be factory straight from Chevy. Like I said, overall, it's in really good shape. Maybe a couple just bug splatters that have got on there or rock chips from that driving down the road. One thing I haven't mentioned to you, obviously it is, will be backed by our 30-day warranty like it shows on the website, um, but with 82,000 miles on, just over 82,000 miles, there's no more Chevy warranty, so the powertrain and the tech package is no longer covered. Of course, we do have options that would pick that up. 
Here's the driver's seat. Again, no rips. You can see that there is a little bit of wear there and that middle console. Floor mats look to be in great shape as well. Let me hop up here. So you can see all the features on it. It does have heads up display on it. And the dash looks to be in great shape. There's no ribs or cracks, anything like that. Of course, all of your climate and heating controls there and your um, navigation, as well as all your radio controls are here. So um, I know you're familiar with these vehicles, but if there's any questions you have on the options, let me know. All the buttons look to be in great shape. But that tech package, of course, would be picked up by that coverage that I'm mentioning to you, as well as the transmission, powertrain, engine components. So let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, I hope I give you uh, a good, accurate representation of the vehicle. Of course, it is a used vehicle, so there's probably some small blemishes that I might have missed. But overall, there's no crazy smells, no crazy sounds coming from the vehicle. It's been running the whole time. Super quiet and super great shape. Uh, if you have any other questions on it, let me know. Be happy to answer them.